since opening 47 years ago. Murakami has been a center for Japanese arts and culture right here in South Florida. We have the opportunity 365 days a year to be able to bring this to our community. Bringing in new exhibits in hopes of educating people about the small but mighty Asian American community here at home. Well, numbers wise, there's a very small percentage, not only here in our local community, but throughout the state, there's only 3% Asian population. Taking a walk through the gardens, reflecting on what this month means for AAPI heritage. Um, definitely important to talk about it year round because we are not just a month, yeah. right? The Asian community is not just a month, we are here throughout the year. But I think there's still work to do to make sure we are understood and heard and we are still representative because when people think of Miami or South Florida, it's like, oh, a lot of Latin Americans and the Caribbean, but you know, it's really an international melting pot. An effort to educate and honor AAPI heritage, the Murakami Museum has some new exhibits. You took the portrait, had them write their personal statement in their own words, which I think is fabulous. And he said in his talk that he encouraged everyone to be brave. The Hapami exhibit is a photo reflection of how Asian Americans have evolved 15 years later, asking themselves the same question, what are you? Of course, we also have an interactive component on the weekends where you can have an instant photo taken and write your own statement and be a part of the exhibit as well. These new exhibits are a way for people to immerse themselves in the growing Asian American community in South Florida, an effort that won't just be here for the month of May, but forever. In Delray Beach, I'm Brooke Chow. WPTV News Channel 5.